Hey guys, today I would like to speak about opinel knives and my saber which is called Shashka and in uh, translation it's called long knife. Let's start uh, with the opinel. This one I bought because I liked uh, the shape of the handle but immediately what I didn't like is that it's really really long so you can see the uh, blade is coming here so this part in my opinion is a waste of material and weight and what shown here was this metal part which uh, looks like loop on one side and uh, safety belt razor or cutter on the other hand but for my needs uh, it's a dead weight and um, i will never use it and it's actually it bothers me here because it's sticking out to one side or to other side so it's not really comfortable to hold somewhere in the pocket and this weight I think this knife is lighter than this piece of metal. Oh, I mean this, yeah, this knife. So if you compare, here is much more metal than here, and the wood is lightweight. So I will leave this at home because I have no use for it. Maybe some other guys do, but in my opinion, it's a waste of material, waste of weight, and this knife. I don't like it actually because of uh, this is maybe you can use it as a whistle but I don't use whistles uh, in the forest what is a good thing is this fire steel because you have one with yourself I don't know how long uh, will the friction hold it in this position without falling off probably after some longer time of usage I will tell you anyway the handle is pretty comfortable it's a standard vibro lock locking mechanism so it doesn't open uh, in your pocket but as you can see uh, it's not that super safe if you put it to full lock here you can open it but yeah why should it open by itself i don't know the probability is really low so i'm not afraid it will open in the pocket it uh, doesn't have any one hand uh, opening mechanism So I like this uh, barrel shape, is what I bought it, but as you can see, here is too much space. It's good, but um, I don't know, it's too big if you compare it to how the blade is long. Uh, one thing about opinals is sometimes because it's wood, uh, it can get wet. And then the opening and closing isn't as, as smooth so this uh, plastic material should be more durable it's called number 12 something like survival knife Maybe if somebody has a hands of a bear, <laughs> then this is for you. Uh, this is 90 degrees spine. Let's see how it cuts. Mm. 
there wasn't dry wood around here so i will do it with wet wood Well, it cuts well, but if I compare it to Moranif, uh, it was easier uh, to cut something with Moranif. And yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed by this knife. Let's try how it's with the sparks. Seems it can throw sparks pretty well, but of course, if you use your knife, there are some marks. Maybe this is useful then, <laughs> this doesn't have a full 90 degrees. So, let me check. We can throw sparks also with this small tool. Not really. So this is pretty useless for me at least. Pretty big in the pocket, but uh, you can fit it. Just uh, <laughs> you have to watch that your lady doesn't think you <laughs> would like to tell her something. <laughs> in the pocket, it's I think it's too big for everyday carry, so. My expectations maybe were too high for this knife for the price i want more maybe 
the Opinel number no. 8 garden model is better suited for everyday carry. I will uh, leave uh, the description and specifications uh, in the description of the video. Thanks for watching, see you later. So this is number 10, filleting knife, Opinel made in France, this is number 12 so you can compare the size difference. It looks like a gentleman's knife. Uh, what I was uh, skeptical about is this uh, locking mechanism because this type uh, opened, I didn't uh, lock it completely till the end and somehow now it's good but I didn't uh, lock it only like this so there is a little bit of more space and it opened like this and it's pretty sharp tip so I have to really lock it until the end so you have no problems with it. I chose this knife because of the weight. It's pretty lightweight. I will leave specifications uh, in the description. It feels quite well for small tasks, for bigger tasks. I have more space here in the hand, so more robust handle of a barrel shape would suit me better. Anyway, you can turn like this, like this. This barrel shape is really good for manipulation with the knife. Is different than standard uh, opinals because it doesn't have this bottom. It's uh, the blade can cut until the end. It's a pretty knife. And if I compare it uh, with uh, my Opinel 8 Garden, I still prefer the Opinel 8 Garden. It's much cheaper and I think it does the work the same. Let's see how it cuts. Makes pretty pearls. Maybe you can see when I push like this, the knife can bend, but then it returns to this original shape, so it's pretty flexible. Maybe because of this it doesn't cut as deep as the other knives. So this would be nice everyday carry knife, but for wood working i think is not the best option Let's see how it can cut
Well, uh, I guess this knife was not meant for woodworking, so it's not a bushcrafting. It's called actually filleting knife. So you can guess it's for meat processing, fish processing, and the kitchen work because it's inox here, stainless steel. Actually the sabers without the guard are not used for thrusting like this because your hand can't slide down here. It's not sharp so nothing really would happen. But it's meant just to work with this part. can use both hands, one hand, like this, well by <laughs> no means I'm expert on shashka or sword fighting, I'm just playing around. Oh, the spark. 